very good morning dear friends today we are going to talk about an important lesson on my macroeconomics and uh, we are living in the stage where the whole world is suffering from corona virus covid 19 which is spreads from china and uh, throughout the world every country the mighty countries on the earth they are also suffering bitterly suf- suffering and now india is also under the lockdown janta curfew and uh, complete seal so schools are closed and uh, since uh, children are the future of the nation so i am very much happy that uh, kendriya vidyalaya sangathan has thought to initiate the online teaching so there are so many videos available in the market but i am designing this uh, to help to my kids who are in f section 11th f to 12th f they are going for them i am trying to do what happens if the faces are familiar we understand we accept the things uh, very easily because there is a kind of uh, law of attraction so sardhavan labte gyanam जिसको श्रद्धा होती है उसको ज्ञान की प्राप्ति होती है और जो द टीचर हु इज़ टीचिंग यू थ्रू आउट द पास्ट वन ईयर यू आर इन द हैंड यू आर इन माय हैंड सो व्हेन आई एम गोइंग टू मेक सम वीडियोस ऑन द गिवन टॉपिक सर्टनली इट इज़ गोइंग टू हेल्प यू विद दैट फीलिंग आई एम टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट लेसन ऑन द माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स and uh, let us understand what is macro economics say introduction introduction part what is macro economics dear friends you have already studied uh, about uh, micro economics one of the branch of economics micro economics and in there itself you um, study so many things and from there itself i would like to compare to enable you to in, to understand in a better way what is the macro economics there uh, you have uh, uh, studies uh, studies about the uh, different tools on of microeconomics but before that uh, let us uh, go in the flash back uh, how this uh, microeconomics originated uh, if you uh, recall your uh, class 9th uh, teaching perhaps in the class 9th social science there there was a lesson of uh, rise of hitler okay, how the hitler accumulated power and what were the factors what were the reasons that rise of hitler became possible in germany so there was one more one very important reason that was economic crisis germany was suffering from econo- economic crisis and it was popularly known as uh, 1929 there is there was economic depression recession in america and this is a, a cycle of uh, recession boom recovery so economic cycle trade cycle say economic cycle so uh, 1929 which uh, originated in uh, usa uh, that uh, spreads to the economies which were linked with the usa so europe was affected and because of uh, problem of 1929 usa there was a unsold stock matlab isko samjhiye aise ki uh, unemployment ki wahan problem hui wahan jo wo dekha gaya ki america mein jo demand hai wo kam ho gayi और प्रोडक्शन था और प्रोडक्शन को परचेज करने वाला कोई नहीं था मतलब कहीं ना कहीं परचेजिंग पावर परचेजिंग पावर अफेक्ट हुई तो लोगों का पैसा नहीं था इनकम नहीं था तो जब ऑलरेडी प्रोड्यूस गुड्स आर इन द मार्केट एंड नो बडी इज देयर टू परचेज इट सो द प्रोड्यूसर्स स्टॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड इफ देर इज नो प्रोडक्शन वाई दे विल गिव द एम्प्लॉयमेंट सो द एम्प्लॉयमेंट was also on fall 
so one word you uh, come to know about employment income get your point and uh, so this uh, macroeconomics uh, it uh, does not uh, uh, micros first you see the micros the word micro macro originated from greek word mag, micros it, it, it means large in micro the word root word micro which you have studied in class uh, uh, 11th micro you try to understand the root word micro microscope microorganism these are this indicates what this indicates the smallest so from there itself you can compare now macros micros large macro economies large micro small so microeconomics was talking about the smallest units microeconomics were the larger units so this is i am just see the figures micro macro get a point so one is a small and other is a large in microeconomics you have studied about the demand and supply and here is what aggregate demand aggregate supply so this large again this is large demand individual demand is a group demand here we are talking about the price how the price are determined how this this was determined so it was known as microeconomics was known as pricing theory and here it is a determination of national income employment so it was a based on aggregate philosophy relevant so and for better com uh, comparison micro just like a brick is a small macro the whole building there is no question of what which is better because the brick significance is important similarly the buildings significance is important you cannot imagine the building without a brick so we can say that there is a complementary it's the hand it is important but without fingers can you compare the importance of this no so each one is important this you if you think that is a micro then whole it's a macro means uh, microeconomics is one of the component of macroeconomics here we are talking about the individual factors price the whole economy the problem of whole economy is understood in the macroeconomics where the uh, scope of uh, macroeconomics is concerned so uh, if you go to the radio textbook the syllabus itself the first lesson is a uh, uh, national income the so, uh, income uh, determination of uh, national income is a part of macroeconomics money and banking is a i'm talking about the scope of macroeconomics m a c r o macroeconomics national income accounting first lesson is that then money and banking income determination employment theory which uh, we we'll study about the uh, lord gins jm gins uh, who wrote a very famous book a general theory of employment interest in money 1936 and uh, it was uh, he only propounded the theory of macroeconomics because the classical according to the classical belief the economy will be in equilibrium but uh, he uh, rejected this idea of the classical economist and he propounded the this uh, theory of macroeconomics that uh, equality of uh, labor market and uh, capital market money market and uh, commodity market if it is in equilibrium economy will be in equilibrium it was a different uh, thing long uh, chapter about the classical theory uh, okay. so the first is a um, national income the second is a money and banking income determination employment theory is what they budget and uh, balance of payment ye hamara jo hai is the scope of uh, macroeconomics jisme macroeconomics mein in sari cheezon ke bare mein hum log padhenge और ये पढ़ना क्यों जरूरी है तो वाई इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट जब हमने देखा कि इकोनॉमी में जो माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स का जो कॉन्सेप्ट है उसके अनुसार इकोनॉमी को इक्वेबियम में अगर हम होना चाहिए था तो इकोनॉमी इक्वेबियम में नहीं हो पाई कोई एग्रीगेट एक छोटी जगह पर अगर इक्वेबियम है वो जरूरी नहीं है कि पूरे जगह पूरे इकोनॉमी में इक्वेबियम को लाए इसको समझने के लिए एक एग्जाम्पल मिलना चाहूँगा कहते हैं कि सेविंग इज़ गुड गवर्नमेंट 
promotes the saving finance they promote the saving but imagine that if there is a saving throughout the economy what will happen let us see uh, if uh, because uh, my saving is a uh, uh, good for me but uh, if uh, suppose in the small uh, area i am just talking about small shop keepers are there barbers are there different economic activities are taking place and if everybody is saving and nobody is making expenditure what will happen just imagine the effect because my expenditure is a income for somebody i am making expenditure on milk so milk uh, uh, seller he is getting the salary from that if i am making expenditure the milkman is getting salary so he is getting income if he he is making expenditure milkman is making expenditure on the clothes it is the income for the cloth seller cloth seller is making expenditure on vegetables so it is the income for vegetables so it is a circular flow this needs actually when it is expenditure is not made then what will happen the money blockage will be there salary my expenditure becomes a salary for some other person he is getting livelihood through that he is getting the purchasing power from that so it is a uh, it is a micro uh, micro uh, micro that is micro economic concept saving saving is good but suppose the whole economy starts saving then aggregate demand will be less and because of it there is no demand in the economy why the producers will produce the goods so uh, it is a paradox it is a paradox of economics so what is right on the micro side it may not be the right for the macro side so there is that there is a need for a different branch which studies the uh, problem uh, where exactly the problem lies which make uh, the uh, distinct which can distinguish the micro and macro needs both are needs suppose the government is making the policy and take the decision for the decision but that decision may not be good for individuals suppose construction of roads construction of roads is a good concept but many people they do those who are living uh, near the roadside or their uh, land is taken by the government they become the landless for so what uh, narmada bachao andolan it's all this starts and this is a uh, paradox of development one uh, one person's uh, development may not be the development for others so there is need of a balance between the micro and macro and hence there is a need to study and this study is better when we study this two separately so today this is the introduction part we uh, studies uh, about the uh, macro economics and, dis and difference between the macro and micro economics for this uh, i will talk the second uh, part of the introduction later on